Good morning, preschool friends. Today I am going to read to you about The Curious Garden. It's written by Peter Brown. <gasps> Look, there's a boy. He's reading a book and he's sitting on a tree. How silly is that? Look at these bushes. What do you see? That's so awesome. The Curious Garden. Oh, look at that city. There once was a city without gardens or trees or greenery of any kind. Most people, people spent their time indoors. As you can imagine, it was a very dreary place. Does that look like a place you would want to live? I don't know that I would. However, there was one boy who loved being outside. Even on drizzly days, while everyone else stayed inside, you could always find Liam happily splashing through his neighborhood. It's really fun to splash in mud puddles, huh? It was on one such morning that Liam made several surprising discoveries. He was wandering around the old railway, as he did from time to time, when he stumbled upon a dark stairwell leading up to the tracks. The railway had stopped working ages ago, and Liam... Since Liam had always wanted to explore the tracks, there was only one thing for the curious boy to do. Look, there's a door. Liam ran up the stairs, pushed open the door, and stepped out onto the railway. The first thing he saw was a lonely patch of color. Do you see the lonely patch of color? Wildflowers and plants were the last things he had expected to find up there, but when he took a closer look, it became clear that the plants were dying. They needed a gardener. Oh, man. Liam may not have been a gardener, but he knew that he could help. So he returned to the railway the very next day and got to work. The flowers nearly drowned, and he had a few pruning problems, but the plants patiently waited for Liam, or while Liam found better ways of gardening. As the weeks rolled by, Liam began to feel like a real gardener, and the plants began to feel like a real garden. <gasps> Doesn't that look so much better? Most gardens stay in one place, but this was no ordinary garden. With miles of open railway ahead of it, the garden was growing restless. It wanted to explore. The tough little weeds and mosses were the first ones to move. They popped up farther and farther down the tracks and fo were fo closely followed by the more delicate plants. Over the next few months, Liam and the curious garden explored every corner of the railway. Look, it grew all over. <gasps> How pretty is that? Look at all the white flowers. You can see where the tracks were, but there's grass and moss covering it all. The sky's a little bluer now. And now we're getting some different color flowers. Look at those. After spending his spring and summer and autumn at the garden, Liam's time on the railway was finally interrupted by winter. Heavy blankets of snow fell on the city that season, and for the first time since he'd become a gardener, Liam could not visit his plants. What are they going to go do? Rather than waste his winter worrying about the garden, Liam spent it preparing for spring. He's reading. What do you think he's reading about? I think he's reading about flowers. After three cold months, the snow finally began to melt, and Liam rolled his new gardening gear over to the railway. He has a shovel, and he has his gardening book, and his water pitcher, and a rake. He still has a scarf on and his gloves on because it's still super cold outside. Winter had taken its toll on the garden. But thanks to Liam's planning, his handy new tools, and a little help from the sun, the plants soon woke up from their winter sleep. 
The garden had always wanted to explore the rest of the city, and that spring it was finally ready to make its move. Once again, the tough little weeds and mosses set up first. They popped up farther and farther from the railway and were closely followed by the more delicate plants. The garden was especially curious about old, forgotten things. Look at the car. There's plants going all over the car. And that broken up window. And in the cracks of the sidewalk. Liam cares about those plants. A few plants popped up where they didn't belong. All oh, the silly plants are on the stop sign. And on the fire hydrant that they don't go there. Others mysteriously popped up all at once. Is Liam secretly spreading his garden around? He looks like a spy. But the most surprising things that popped up were the new gardeners. Everybody else wants to help take care of the gardens. They like seeing the green things. Look, they're all following Liam now. walk barefoot and it's nice to have a picnic outside when there's green grass all around playing on the water I don't know that I've seen anybody actually do that but that would be kind of fun <gasps> and now we're getting some new birds <gasps> somebody shaped the bushes funny that's so funny <gasps> all the tall bird houses popping up everywhere. Many years later, the entire city had blossomed, but of all the new gardens, Liam's favorite was where it all began, up on the railway. <gasps> Look at that city. It hardly looks like the same city. You have all these green gardens. You don't have all the smoke coming up. You have blue sky. You have windmills to help make energy. <gasps> That's so pretty. Thanks for joining me. Tomorrow I'll read another flower book. See you then.